You know, have you ever got the feeling that you see, maybe you see a band online that you think might be interesting to check out? They're getting a lot of rave reviews, and, you know, or maybe you see, you know, a CD in a store, you're out, and you're like, man, you're in a pawn shop or something, and you see, man, it's a cool album, cover, the, the art's really cool. They gotta be kicked ass. They, they gotta be kicked ass. Or you see this movie that everybody's talking about, right? and the artwork's awesome, and you know everybody's saying, "Oh yeah, that's the one. That's a great movie to check out." And then you start listening to it, and you want to punch everybody in the face that told you this thing was good. This is the album that I chose to review this video. <laughs> this is supposed to be one of the best albums. Of 2018 so far. Yes, we're reviewing Jeff Rosenstock in his album Post. Evidently, this dude, which I didn't do my research, I'm not gonna waste my time doing research. Evidently, he has a band probably somewhere. I'm only assuming because why would you have a name like that and be popular right now? I have no idea. I mean, I'm wrong. But 2018, 10 tracks, you think it wouldn't be that painful. Boy, was it. Track number one. You gave us an intro. Already down for me. Six seconds of I can't get back in my life. Down. Gave it a thumbs down. Number two. And I, I'm going to get hate for this entire album. I can tell you right now. Number two. USA. Please rename the song. We don't want that affiliated with us anymore. It was a rocking song, but voice was just it's punkish it's okay but you have to kind of be into it and i don't even know how to even say like what this band is or what this guy is like what is he trying to do what is he trying to accomplish what kind of music is he trying to be because it's almost like you got a bad audio copy of like a cd of a rock band and i don't understand why these people want it to sound like that it's almost like it's in mono. Maybe that's what it is. But I don't understand this kind of rock music that's coming out. Maybe it's just because I'm getting old and I'm starting not to understand some kind of weird music that's coming out now. But this is like beyond. This is like bad rock and roll that like I don't even understand, dude. It's like people want to be the most generic rock band you can ever think of. Now, this guy pretty much matches what the, what it could be. Maybe that's why it's so popular. Average song. If this is what he's given us, this is an average song. And that's kind of what I do in these Rebel reviews. I'm going upon what they give us. If they give us what they sound like, okay, this is what the guy sounds like. Okay, I got my premise. After two songs, I know what this band is supposed to sound like. Now, can I find a song that within this full parameter that he's start, he's gave us within this album time, within this album, I'm going to find out which ones I like, which ones I don't like. Since now I know what he sounds like. The first two and three, which number three was YR Throat. Your throat, evidently. Um, both of them are okay. Number three, it was okay. Wow, it's okay. But the, there was a harmony part in it, which was kind of cool. I started to like, oh. oh. And, and then I was like, eh, yeah, I could see why he's popular. Because this song was not actually, your throat was okay. Or your throat, whatever the heck you want to call it. It was pretty good, and it kind of showed me a hint that it kind of deserves a check mark, kind of in between a check mark and average, to be all awesome. And the check mark just basically means it's a good song. It's okay, but there was parts in there where he went back to his singing voice, like he had in track two, and I was like, mm, I don't like that. Stop that. Just don't do that, and I like you. If you do harmony and you just do some normal singing, it'd be fine. But he's doing like this yelling. I don't even know how to explain it. It doesn't sound good. I don't under, I don't understand. What is he doing in track number two? <laughs> Someone explain that to me, because I don't know. I just don't like what he was doing in that. Um, something was off. Track number four, uh, all this useless energy. Uh, this is kind of, it was up-tempo. And, you know, so, so for this song, you know, is so far, that was the one I like. Um, it reminded me of kind of like a good, forgettable 90s rock band. To be completely honest, it, it was, it's like, you know, one of those bands that they're like, oh yeah, I remember this song. Yeah, it's catchy, man. 
It's like, who's this band? Oh, Squirrels Lost in Space Forever, that band. Oh, okay, that's why I probably don't know. You never remember their name because they're not me. They had like one song that was popular. And it wouldn't necessarily say like a one-hit wonder because they might have had like a second hit, but maybe it like it only got like number 15 on the Billboard or something like that. Or number 15 on the VH1 Countdown one week, in which that means they were probably like on the actual Billboard, they were probably at like number 58 or something that week. So they weren't even on the noticeable chart and won't be remembered in history, you know, for a lot of things. Um, so that's what they got. This song kind of reminded me of that kind of band. And that kind of, to me, like, is anybody going to be talking about Jeff Rosenstock like in four years? Or five years, whatever. Even next year, in my my opinion. Um, number five, Powerlessness. It was a full-on, it was an energetic song, you know. But it just felt like there was no meaning from... <sighs> from my perspective, it just seemed like there was no meaning to this song uh, at all. Number six, TV Stars. This started out pretty good, okay? And then it just went to pure slow dribble like nothing it had no expression in this song to me it just lost all like went to poop it just went to poop i didn't like it at all uh number seven i'm pretty sure this was the music video that he released and i'm so sorry for anybody that listened to this if you like this i want to let you know there is better music out there seek it now Melba was not a good song. I hope she answered the phone, but the song sucked. Good Lord. If you don't know about the phone thing, he says it in the song. Sorry. It's horrible. Number eight. Beating my head against the wall. The best song on the damn album. One minute and 41 seconds. If you could do it for almost two minutes, do it for the whole damn album, please. Jesus. Simple. Fun. Except and catchy. It's good. You can do it. Try it again. On more tracks. How about that? Number nine. Nine out of ten times, basically, was what this song was called. Nine out of ten. That's what it's called. Talking. Boring. Why are you doing this? I don't know how people think this is good. It's not good at all. It's, it's horrible. Number 10, it's an 11-minute song. I, sorry, did not make it through this entire song, let me tell you. But if I was in the mood to listen to the whole damn 11-minute song, I will give it a stamp of approval because it was actually interesting. The first part of the song, let the, the first part of Let Them Win was pretty good. Uh, you know, like <laughs> the comment was a little bit long, but not bad. <laughs> but it, it, you know, it was probably pretty good. I just didn't want to listen to the last half, to be completely honest. It was boring, and it kind of went slow toward the end, but it picked up at the beginning pretty good, and I listened to half of it. I'm sure if I would have been in the mood for this kind of music, it probably would have been a lot better. So if you're into this kind of music, you'll probably like it a lot. The last track, the fourth track, and the eighth track. I'm sorry, but if I'm listening to this on Spotify, because I'm sure it's on there. If it's not on there, then whatever. Um... If I would have got to track four, I probably would have given up by then. And it really would have had to pull me in, like, within the first ten seconds. Or I would have been like, <clears throat> fart whistle on in the next song. Not good. Good God, people. If there is better music out there, and a lot of people are telling me that, <laughs> or saying online, that this is one of the best albums of 2018, what in the world? That's all I got to say. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Let me know what you think about this album. I'll catch you guys later. Keep rocking. Keep on listening. No, not to this guy. Someone else. Please. Anybody else. Madonna. Beastie Boys. Backstreet Boys. I don't know. Justin Bieber. Something. Not this. Keep rocking. Later.